When COVID became a crisis in Kenya, life became terrible. Kuna kijana huyu aliuliwa alikuwa anaishi naita mabatini ndio alikutana na askari wa kokoa alikuwa kwa patrol. Kukutana alipigwa na askari na akakufa. Si sasa COVID ndio inaua lakini sasa ni askari ndio alikuwa anaua. Uh, my name is Steven Kinuthia Mwangi. Uh, we've been engaging with uh, Data for Change. We've been learning uh, data visualization skills. And uh, from that training uh, that I attended with uh, my colleague uh, Anthony, we thought about uh, setting up a community, community event where people can come and visualize this data with, uh, the same way that we've learned. Uh, well, as you can see on the walls, um, uh, some of the questions have been highlighted and the community will, will come and respond to this. Uh, as you can see, for example, uh, there's a question there on uh, who, helped, uh, who helped us during the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, people will respond with, um, with hearts uh, and just show who, who was uh, there for them during that time. You can see there's, uh, there are health workers, there is law enforcement. And uh, behind me here, um, it's questions that are asked and then uh, people respond by stringing to to each point. Uh, we chose to do this so that people can be able to see how these numbers are huge and that uh, these violations should not be taken as being normal. We should not normalize this violence. The impact of having this data now on the walls. Mm, when you come and uh, paint a heart there and then later on you come and find that 10 people share the same sentiments that you have about say the health workers. You feel that these are important people in the community. So many people have been affected during the enforcement of coffee restrictions. If you express this story, to your own family, the, it's a small number. But as we grow these numbers from one family to an entire community, and we put these numbers up so that people can be able to see them and communicate to them what these numbers are about. It's a very powerful way of organizing communities that have been victimized and have been uh, marginalized. And uh, this is going to go a very long way. Instead of people publishing books that uh, uh, community mem members are not able to access or to read, we can now put these books on walls and people can be able to read uh, the information and share the knowledge that, uh, that is organized within the community. If there is something I would change in my community, that would be awareness. If everyone is aware of what is going on, they would want change in everything that is happening. If you are aware that you're being defined, if you are aware that there is some corruption going somewhere, you would want change for that. So if you create awareness in your community, that is the first step you begin with bringing change.